10th. All right. Ooh. This is interesting because he's had a couple other parts to this. Questions put to the sick, part four. When was the last time you listened to the stories of others? Question put to the sick by a Native American medicine man. You know it's about to get deep. What? I found myself in a psychodrama group that met every other week for two years. I didn't have any idea what psychodrama was and would never have tried it, except that the man who led the group was a sage to me. I knew he had more to teach me and I had vowed to myself to participate in whatever he was doing. It turned out that psychodrama was a process by which we each took turns bringing to life a part of our inner story in the hope that by acting out dreams or current conflicts or unresolved pieces of our past, we might, with each other's help, unfold some wisdom that would help us live our lives. I didn't want to go first, and it was several weeks before I found the courage to take my turn. At first, I thought I'd wait on the perimeter and watch how this would all unfold. But unexpectedly, and with gravity, I began to see that each person's story, no matter how different from my own, would suddenly be about a part of me that I'd never given voice to. Yes. I discovered that taking part in another's dream or conflict or unresolved past was just a deeper way of listening, a deeper way of being present. The reward for such deep listening was the incredible honor of first witnessing a living model of human courage and then finding comfort and healing The reward for such deep listening was the incredible honor of first witnessing a living model of human courage and then finding comfort and healing in the surprise that our stories are really all the same. It seems the ancient medicine man understood that listening to another's story somehow gives us the strength of example to carry on as well as showing us aspects of ourselves we can't easily see. For listening to the stories of others, not to their precautions or personal commandments, is a kind of water that breaks the fever of our isolation. If we listen closely enough, we are soothed into remembering our common name. Oh man. I'm telling you, that is seriously what kept me doing hair for 30 years. I hated doing hair. <laughs> hated it. But I loved, loved, loved hearing people's stories. So it's really a thing. Or you know, sometimes even just sitting in a coffee shop and listening, like if there's a group close by, sometimes you can hear them talking about their stories and it's, it's, it can, it can be the same, but I like to participate. I like to ask questions and draw out more information. So it really, it really is transformative. And you really do find that as crazy as some people's lives have been, you can almost always find a common thread with them. So anyway, that's amazing. Mindful moment. Breathe slowly and meditate on being open and receptive today. As you move through your day, give over your energy to listening. As you hear the stories of others, be aware of when one touches a part of your own story. If you can, Offer a thread of your own story as a gift in return. Yeah. 
I think that's something I try to do and I always hope that it's not taken as me trying to interject my story or trying to make their story sound less than or not that special. It's always, whenever I offer a thread of my story, it's to say, I see you and I recognize you and I feel that energy and I get it and I'm right there with you and I want you to keep telling your story because it means something to me. Awesome days. All right, I'll be here tomorrow. Rain, shine, whatever, I will be here.